Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have a new, a newly reformulated Catrice foundation to try out for you guys today. The team at Catrice has always been very, very kind to me, very generous. And look what they sent me. I had no idea this was coming in the mail. I received this PR package, I think Wednesday or Thursday of this past week, and it's a weekend when I'm filming this video. Inside this gorgeous train case is the newly reformulated HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Now, we're going to be doing a 10-hour wear test. I am actually wearing them already. I have the old one on the right side, and I have the new formula on the left side. And you guys will see all of that in the application portion of the video. But when we open this train case up, we definitely have some goodies in here. So they sent me three different shades of the newly reformulated HD liquid coverage foundation. The shade I will be wearing in today's video is shade 10, which is called light beige. Uh, also in this very generous PR kit was a little um, selfie light, one of those ring lights that you can attach to your phone. I don't have it in here because I've been using it already. It does come with like a little USB cable and all that stuff. They also sent me some little white hair clips that you're going to see me use in the application portion of the video. This was just totally unexpected. Expected. So thank you guys over at Catrice for sending this my way. I do want to mention that when I first started my YouTube channel, my Instagram, this beauty journey, so to speak, um, Catrice was one of the first mainstream brands to reach out to me, to send me PR, just to repost me and, you know, shout me out over on their account, Catrice and Wet n Wild. So I'm always going to have a soft spot in my heart for both of those brands because they took notice of me when I was a super, super small channel. I mean, I'm talking about 500 subscribers or less. So thank you, Catrice. Thank you so much for, for keeping me in your thoughts. And uh, you guys know I love foundation. So this was going to be a no-brainer. I definitely wanted to try out this newly reformulated HD liquid coverage foundation. So what's new with this one? Um, this particular product, and let me go ahead and grab the shade I'm going to be using today. So this one is a, it's a mattifying full coverage foundation. Um, I have always had good luck with this particular foundation. I am 40 years old and I do have normal to oily skin. This is a really nice long wearing full coverage foundation. So uh, new versus old packaging is still the same. Uh, what it says on the outward packaging though is a little bit different. So all it says over here on the old one is that it uh, lasts up for 24 hours. It's mattifying with a second skin effect. What's new for 2022? Um, it also says it's mattifying, but it also says it's water and sweat proof, and it's also formulated with niacinamide. Now, on their Instagram, because this is where I noticed that they had reformulated this product, like literally the day that I saw it on Instagram that it was reformulated is the day this package arrived. So I am just super excited. But um, the new one, in addition to being waterproof, sweat proof, and transfer proof, it says it's uh, formulated with no alcohol, oil, perfume or parabens and to top it all off you know they're giving us an improved formula the price has been lowered this is now ten dollars i want to say it was like eleven or twelve dollars but hey saving a buck or two right now i'll take it i'll take it i am so excited to do this 10 hour wear test for you guys we're going to be doing we're going to be doing a uh, pretty much a full face of catrice minus the eye look because i do have something else i need to film today but um we're definitely going to be putting the new hd liquid coverage to the test against the old hd liquid coverage now if you're here in the united states you can find catrice on amazon and of course on their us based website Catrice and Essence, those are sister brands. I believe they were, they started over in Europe. So if you're in Europe, um, if you're based over there overseas, I think you can get more uh, Catrice and Essence products than what we can get here in the US. Uh, their new releases and stuff tend to go over there first versus coming over here. And that's just fine. That's just fine. Um, I'm so excited that I get to still be able to buy Catrice. I thought when they were leaving Ulta that, oh no, like how is it going to get Catrice? But I'm happy to see them at Amazon. I'm ordering from Amazon all the time. So if it is your first time here on my channel, I want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph and this is what I love to do. I love trying out new makeup, 
I especially love doing foundation reviews. I could do a foundation review every single day if it was possible. I love uh, trying out new eyeshadow palettes and doing multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes. I do makeup ranking videos. If that sounds great to you and you want to see my videos on pretty much a daily basis, I do tend to upload quite a bit. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and go ahead and click on the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you like what you see, if you are as big of a Catrice fan as I am, give this video a thumbs up before you go. As usual, everything that I'm wearing in today's video will be linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links, so if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. I'm just I'm just really excited. I'm blown away. Here are the hair clips. Vegas sent me two of them. Two little hair clips. You'll see me use those in the application portion of the video. And guys, I also want to shout out Liquid IV. Liquid IV sent me a really generous PR package back in August, and I haven't really mentioned it much on my channel. I do have a code with them. It's in the description box. That code will give you, I think, 20 or 25% off right now on the website. So if you're a fan of Liquid IV the way I am, you're definitely going to want to uh, pick some of these up that you can get it at a great discount. But uh, Liquid IV is a way for you to get your hydration if you're not able to drink a gallon of water the way I do. Even though I drink a gallon of water, and some days I don't, some days I don't get there, especially like during the week. I'm an educator. I can't be going to the bathroom every five minutes and leaving my class. So I drink one of these in the morning. I put it in with a bottle of water. Or I put it in my little tumbler here. I shake it up, add some ice, and this is going to give me the hydration that I need to last throughout the day. It's especially great if you are an athlete. Maybe you just completed a 5K. I have a 5K run coming up uh, in November. I always do the turkey trot. Or maybe it's the morning after a great night out. Out on the town or being on vacation you kind of get off track with your eating and your drinking habits pour one of these in a bottle of water and you are gonna feel 10 times better 10 times better uh, nutrition facts are on the back 45 calories per little packet it's just a little pouch you just cut it up and pour it into the tumbler to the water bottle there is no fat no cholesterol uh, 11 grams of carbohydrate and 11 grams of sugar so if these macros sound pretty good to you and you just want to try some liquid IV you need some more hydration in your life other than what you can get from a straight up water I will have these linked in the description box along with my discount code it's always linked in every video I do all of my codes and 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 everything and, and affiliate links are always there in the description box but I just needed to shout this out they gave me they sent me a really generous PR package and one of the reasons why I haven't been able to talk about it here on my channel is because I've been giving them away like all of my co-workers and stuff they just they love this stuff and yeah thank you liquid IV for thinking of me as well let's get started with today's video if you guys want to see this pretty much full face of Catrice trying out the newly reformulated HD liquid coverage foundation keep on watching so I'm gonna go in with the Catrice one minute face perfecter I need to order another one this one's old I probably shouldn't be using it but it still works so yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep using it until it doesn't really look good anymore so that's what it looks like on my fingertips and I just kind of warm it up and I start applying now it does give a bit of a, a tint to the complexion, which on me, like I'm I'm fair to light. It doesn't it doesn't make me look orange or anything. Like the foundation just covers everything. But this is one of the best primers in my stash, one of the best primers that I've ever used. I believe this is less than ten dollars. This just gives a smoothing, blurring effect. And it helps my makeup look good and last all day. I mean, you could even use this and be done. Do your brows, put a little mascara, and that's it. Because it does have that slight tint to it, but oh, this is just my favorite, my favorite, one of my favorite primers ever. And it kind of does help to give the complexion a mattifying effect, but not overly mattifying to where it's going to be drying i just love it i love it like it just gives your complexion like the perfect canvas you know for the makeup okay so for the right side over here i'm going to go in with the old mm, 
HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Let me give it a good shake. And I have two different brushes um, that I'm going to use so that I don't mix them up. I'm just going to drop a little bit there. That's what the shade looks like. That's 10. This one's 10. Is it light beige? Yeah, light beige. So I'm going to use a BK Beauty 101. I'm going to be using two BK Beauty 101s. This is the one for the right. This is the old. Now this definitely gives full coverage, all day wear. I will say that between this one, and I'm referring to the old one, versus the, I have it here, oh, one of my favorites, the Catrice True Skin. I will say I like the way the True Skin wears on my complexion a little bit better. And it looks, a little bit better for longer I mean they're both they're both really great foundations and I think if you're full on oily hair if you're full on oily then you're gonna want to do this one over the Catrice the the true skin and if you're full on dry you're gonna want to do the the true skin but for me that I'm kind of like in the middle I'm normal oily both of these work out really really well I think this is a really nice shade for me too. Now we're gonna go in with, and I'm cleaning the back of my hand where I had the old one. Now we're gonna go in with the new one. Same shade, just new formula. Got my other brush, my other BK 101. So same shade, yeah, I don't see any difference. No fragrance. I mean, I don't smell. I don't smell anything. Maybe just like a makeup scent, but not. It's not fragranced. I'm just building up this area right here where I have old acne scars and minor discoloration. This looks really pretty. Really pretty. Okay, guys. So here is the new, and then here is the old. I, let's see, I feel like it's a little more smoothing right in here where I do have some larger pores versus this side, but not by much. I mean, that's like really nitpicking at it. I think the shades are both identical. I don't see any difference with the shades. Good coverage, like just beautiful coverage, really pretty coverage. Okay. So far, we're off to a really great start. I'm going to do some concealer now. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. The shade I'm going to be using is shade 7 Natural Rose. Alright, concealer's on. It looks great for setting powder. I'm going to use this one also from Catrice. This is their True Skin uh, Mineral Loose Powder. This is actually a really nice setting powder not just for the whole complexion but for the under eye area as well I've always enjoyed it I would say the only thing that doesn't work that great for me in the true skin line is actually the concealer I feel like the concealer actually accentuated some of my fine lines I mean I still have it I use it but I, I like this one that I'm wearing a little bit better I like it with this powder. Now I'm going to use it also to set the T-zone. My nose is the oiliest place on my face. Now I didn't set the perimeter of the complexion. We'll leave that as is. I'm going to go in with some bronzer next. And this is the Catrice Sungasm Bronzer. This is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. Let's see, I'm going to get my Beach Cosmetics brush. This is the Aquamarine brush. This is a bit of a glowy bronzer, so I know not everybody is into a glowy bronzer. I love to glow, so I don't mind. Now I'm going to go in with this Catrice blush box. This one is in the shade Golden Coral. I don't know that they're still making these. I would hope they are because they were super affordable, but I don't know if maybe... 
I thought I saw that they were going to be discontinued. I don't know if it was just certain shades or what, but this is actually the only Catrice. Actually, no, I have another one. I have a very glowy Catrice blush in my stash, but this is the one I chose for today's video. I only have two. Now for highlighter, I'm going to go in with this one. This is the Sungasm Highlighter. It's a face and body highlighter. This one is in the shade... This is one, I don't think it has a specific name. It's just Sungasm. This one is beautiful. Catrice does make some beautiful, beautiful highlighters. I have the other one here that I know a lot of people love. This one right here, this is the More Than Glow highlighter. And I'm using my Shop Miss A brush. This is the F19. My Shop Miss A haul should be coming in pretty soon. I know it had already shipped. So I'll do that haul video as soon as it comes in. It wasn't, I didn't place as big of an order as I thought I was going to. I just honestly wasn't seeing too much that I wanted to get. So a lot of it is stuff that I just rebought, but there's some new stuff. Okay, now I'm going to get the blush brush and just blend. Okay, I think the complexion is looking just so pretty so smooth like wow okay now we're gonna go in with the setting spray this is the ultra last fixing spray so let's see i think i'm gonna like that mister hey there mm -hmm. no the mister is not good as you can clearly see by all the water droplets on my face i hope this does not disturb the foundation. I have this one, Prime and Fine. This is a great one. It has a good mister, but this one, not so much. Okay, thankfully, nothing seems to have removed the makeup. Now, I don't have any Catrice brow products, but I do have a mascara, and this is actually one of my favorites. It's the Glam and Doll Easy Wash Off Mascara. So we'll just put that in. Just a reminder or, you know, side note, I do have on my lashes a lift and curl and tint. I did that this past week at the local med spa I go to. So that's why you can see like they're, they're curled and they look a little bit darker and I think a little bit fuller. And I'm loving that. That was, I, I took that recommendation off of one of you who left it in the comments and I like it and if you're wondering she used the large rod she was thinking that the medium rod might be a little too much curl but I think I want to try the medium next time so it's basically like a perm for your lashes but see it like makes the mascara look 10 times better like, I'm not going to add another coat of this mascara. This is the way the mascara is going to stay. Okay, guys. So here is the completed complexion. I love it. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy. We're going to see which side holds up better. Is it going to be the old or the new and improved HD liquid foundation from Catrice? I am so excited for this video and I'm just about done with my liquid IV. I will check in with you guys in about five hours. We'll see how my complexion is looking. And of course, at the end of the day, we will wrap up this 10 hour wear test, trying out the newly reformulated Catrice HD liquid foundation. Stay tuned. Hey guys, five hour check in here, trying out the newly reformulated Catrice HD liquid foundation. This is the one, the side with the old one. And here is the side with the new formula. Can you see a difference? I can't see a difference. I haven't touched up my makeup in the last five hours. All I did was create an eye look and wipe away a little bit of fallout that I got from the blue shadow. Other than that, that's about it. Oh, and I changed the lippy, but both were Tower 28. I've been wearing Tower 28 throughout this video. So I'm liking everything. Like, I think my complexion looks really good. I'm matte without being overly matte. Like, I still have a nice glow, full coverage. Nothing, nothing is, is bothering me right now. I've been indoors and outdoors. It's a very humid day. It's cloudy, but it's humid. And um, that's why my hair is pulled back too, because ah, it's a hot mess right now. But 
thank goodness the makeup is not a hot mess and if you're wondering about the eye look you guys will see this eye look go up before you're watching this video so definitely stay tuned for that but I'm loving the complexion. I think it looks fantastic. It has five more hours to go, so I will check in with you guys at the end of the day, and we'll see. We'll see if the new is going to beat the old. Hey guys, 10-hour check-in here. The new Catrice versus the old Catrice. So I went to go look in my simple human mirror. I examined everything, and really, guys, like they look almost identical. I will say that I've definitely been kept matte or like semi-matte all day long. No touch-ups, blotting, nothing like that. My oil is in check. I think my complexion looks really good at this 10-hour mark. 10 hours wearing this foundation, the new one on the left, the old one on the right. If I'm going to nitpick, okay, I feel like right in here on the old side, it's kind of breaking apart just ever so slightly. And it looks a little bit smoother over here on the new side. Everywhere else, it's pretty much wearing at the same pace. Like everything just looks pretty good. Around my mouth and a little bit on my chin, it's starting to show some small signs of wear. 10 hours. But other than that, guys, I just... I think it's a beautiful foundation. I like that they, you know, reformulated it to be a uh, waterproof or water resistant, uh, sweat proof. Um, I, I just, the niacinamide, I think everything, I, I think it looks great. I think it looks great. And they even brought the price tag down by like a dollar or two. I'll take it. Catrice, love this one. Thank you so much for sending it my way. I am definitely going to be getting lots of wear out of it. If you guys are torn between the Catrice, this new one or newly reformulated one, the HD Liquid Foundation, or the Catrice True Skin, if you're normal to oily, full-on oily, you're definitely going to want to get this new one, the new reformulated one, the HD Liquid Foundation. If you're more normal dry, full-on dry, I definitely think that the Catrice True Skin is going to be beautiful for you. If you have normal skin, go either way. But guys, keep in mind, I am a normal to oily skin type, and I love that Catrice True Skin Foundation. It's just going to depend, you know, on your own experience, how you like your makeup to look, if you want a matte finish, if you want more of a natural finish. Um, they're both amazing foundations. And I think Catrice did a good job with this reformulation. I think it looks fantastic. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Are you going to be picking up a new bottle of the Catrice HD Liquid Foundation? What are some of your favorite Catrice products? Leave it in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink that water. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.